Okay, YouTube world. It has been about a year since I've posted a video and we've kind of got lost in the world for a while, but we're back and we've been updating what we've been doing. And for those of you who've seen this before, we've got a uh, building our urban back uh, backyard garden uh, farm. Uh, we've put in a, a new smoker where I built uh, a stand so I don't have to keep bending over. The, the wife here is working on some smoked wine salt at the moment. We've put in a fire pit, which we've used several times. It's uh, this winter, it was kind of cold. Uh, the orange bucket has my whiskey mash in it that I am uh, prepping for distilling next week. And then we've moved the tower gardens. And as we go down to them, you can see we've got a kumquat tree, a pear, some other trees, raspberry uh, vines that we're going to turn into some a bush, some citrus. Uh, that empty thing is uh, the wife's attempt to grow some strawberries. Uh, we've got some seasonal uh, plants here, all in small pots, all dwarf trees to keep them small. So as time goes by and we need to move them to get more sun and follow the sun, then we are good there. Uh, up here are our tower gardens. And they, we have harvest today and replanted. The, uh, everywhere on this one you see white for the last two, three weeks has just been covered in lettuce. This romaine lettuce right here is ready for harvest. This took about three weeks to grow from a size about that big. And that will be removed and eaten in the next couple of days. Uh, we've got a bunch of cabbage growing again. We've got some cauliflower and it is being eaten by the chickens, which we'll get to here shortly. But we try to keep them out of that and not always easy to do. On this one here, we've got our strawberries and some rosemary, just a bunch of different plants. And we've got uh, some more lettuce over here. I uh, can't remember the name of that. It's the um, green lettuce. The down here, this big plant right here is an artichoke that takes four months to grow. So we'll see how that goes. Kind of a new one. See how big it gets. Down in here, let me get out of the, the way. We've got uh, tomatoes. They're um, heirloom heritage tomatoes of some sort. And we have our little cherry tomatoes. We've got more red cabbage that we've planted. Our basil, because that thing just grows like a weed. This one here is some mint. These are snap peas. Uh, snow peas, there's one growing right there. They've turned into a nice vine. We've got a bunch of flowers and lots of growth going on them. We've got some more cauliflower down here and some more red cabbage that we just planted. So we're going to wait a few days and see how those are going. And over here is the new addition that we've worked on. This is our greenhouse table where we're starting to grow from seeds. So all these in here, there's our gourmet lettuce that's sprouted. That'll go into the tower when it grows. We're working on some zucchini, some squash, uh, new snow peas. You can see there's one coming in right there. Uh, some spaghetti squash. And that back there are chocolate habaneros. So that was a new planting of today. This bin over here is onions. Uh, red, yellow, and white. And if you can see there, we've got a couple of little green spikes coming up. These pepper plants we tried again, put them in the tower garden, and they just didn't go well. So we put them here, and they have recovered very well and doing pretty good. So this is the plants that we get from a local nursery that we've been planting some asparagus, we've got some Brussels sprouts we're gonna grow in here for a bit and then put into the tower garden. We have some bull's blood beets that we're trying out over here to see if we can get those to grow. 
These package back there is more onions and some corn. This package right here is oyster mushrooms. And that we get from a local grower here at one of the farmer's markets that has some of the best mushrooms that we've had ever seen. So that's kind of where we're looking at over there. I'm going to come over here real quick because this is where we've ended up putting the chickens on the side of the house and they've uh, been doing pretty well. We have 10 chickens and we get seven eggs today. We've uh, got so we have an abundance of eggs nowadays and we let them out to run around the grounds in the backyard to uh, eat the bugs but they like to eat in the tower plants. So um, in previous videos, you may have noticed we had the grandsons had a little play, little tykes play structure. And since then, because they're now four and five years old, we built this tower so that they can get out their energy and everything. So quick look through the backyard again. Uh, starting to grow. We're going to work on another tower garden in the next month or so. And just keep growing our own food. So hope to see you guys again soon. Thanks.